Has to be over 20. Oh my gosh. We're going to a good place. Look, it says danger. <laughs> Just talked about water level rising, so it shouldn't be a big deal. What is up guys? It is Ozzy Fishing Adventures and today I'm over at my secret honey hole and as you can see Steven's in the back <laughs> from Obsession Outdoors. Make sure you go check him out. Link in the description below. We're going to go for some wild brown trout today and hopefully we will smash them. Now in the first part of this video I'm actually going to be over way far away from this creek about 38 minutes away. We found a little native brook trout stream. We only got one though but hey it's a you know it's a trout. It's not bad. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Because believe me, you don't want to miss this one because I actually caught an 18 inch trout. Well, she did actually. <laughs> Not me, but yeah, let's get fishing. Caught a baby smallmouth. You gotta be kidding me. What? Wow. <laughs> Came here for native brookies and he just caught a smallmouth. Look so at the stomach on it, guy. Holy, that thing's been eaten too. He's got one of my wife's ones in it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep moving guys. Hopefully we run into a few more holes. Well, we're definitely, I saw a whole bunch. Alright guys, I found a nice undercut up here. Oh! Ah, trout! Oh, it's a trout! Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Alright guys, we are currently heading downstream to see if there's anything. There's a nice water here, guys. I already hooked into a trout, I just missed him. It looked like a rainbow, weird, weird thing, you know? Oh my gosh, that's huge! <laughs> Holy smokes! Guys, look at that, in front of us. There has to be a whole bunch of trout in this hole. Uh, somehow there is absolutely nothing in here. I don't know why or how, but <laughs> it's really weird if you ask me. But we're gonna keep moving upstream. Get back up here, safely. <laughs> uh, it's a brook! Oh my gosh! He caught a first brook trout of the day, guys. Let's get it. Is it native? What? Oh yeah. Yep, that's definitely a brook trout. Look at that, guys. Oh my god, beautiful oh, yeah. fish. All right, they're look in at, here, guys. Look at that, look at that uh, fin. Wow. Oh, wow. They're pretty. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm thinking someone has to be holding in there. Hopefully Steven could hook up here. Oh, I see him. There's a there's a brook trout laying in there. I see him. I think it's a, it's a bigger fish. I'm not sure if it's a brook. Could just be a big chub, but most likely not. Oh, that was a brook. <laughs> was it? Yep, I saw him. <laughs> Took it right when I was taking it out of the water. All right, guys, so I'm back at a secret trout hole. What the heck was that? You hear that? I don't know what that was. But yeah, we're back at the trout hole, guys. We're gonna see if, you know, my secret trout hole, that's what I meant. We're gonna see if we can catch a few. You know what I mean? Because over at that brook trout spot, it was kind of marginal. We did get one, so that's a good thing. Oh yeah, that's right where I want it, guys. That is exactly where I want it. Got something. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a creek chub. Look at that. Oh no, that's a shiner. Whoa, that is a really cool looking shiner right there. Awesome colors on that guy, look at that. This place never lets me down. <laughs> look at that, awesome looking fish. I wish I could get some more lighting on them, but I really can't. Awesome looking fish though. Oh, <laughs> see ya little buddy. I got him. It's a brookie, that's a brook. Look at that. That's a big brook. Wow. Should be good. Look at that guy's first trout of the day. That is a nice brook. Holy smokes. Wow, that is a fat brook trout right there. He was just sitting right there. I was like, oh, will he take it? I throw it in. First thing he does is go, <laughs> just attacks it, guys. Look at that beast. This is the biggest brook trout I've ever caught, actually. That's definitely a stocky. Look at his fins. See how they're rubbed off. Whoa, easy buddy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well. Oh yeah, perfect drift. Got something. Rock bass. Little one. That's a dink. That's a very small rock bass. That's not even close to the ones I catch usually. Look at that guys. There's a rock bass. First one of the day. 
Didn't expect to catch him under a tree though. Usually that's the trout area. But hey, happy with him. Brown. Has to be over 20. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right guys, so what happened in that clip actually, my GoPro actually ran out of battery and I just like, I was recording the big trout battle and all of a sudden it's like my GoPro is like, dee, 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 which means it died. So that was a big oof. That did not end well. But hey, I did put them on a nice trout. I'm happy about that. At least I, at least I got like three seconds of the footage, you know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> All right, guys, just want to let everybody know that trout was safely caught and safely released back into the wild because I would definitely never keep a trout like that. I never keep trout anyways. But I know Steven doesn't keep trout usually. He only keeps stockies, and that was not a stocky. He knows the difference between wild and stocked. You never want to keep wild trout because you want them to keep reproducing and keep doing their thing. So big 18 inches like that remain in there. And that 18 incher next year, if he survives, is going to live a long, long time, and he could get up to 20, 22, 23. Believe me, there are monster trout in that creek because it's a big creek. If you go downstream, actually, where all the private water is, there's a lot of deep holes, just you can't fish them. And that's where the trout are reproducing. And when it rains, you know, when the water rises, they're coming upstream to, you know, where it is. I'm about to say the city. Hell was close. Woo! All right, guys. Anyways, let's continue. I got some fish pics to show you. All right, guys, I cannot believe I just put them on an 18-inch wild brown trout. I did not expect that, but you never know when you come here. It's funny. It's just like a big ditch, but sometimes when that rain comes down, you see that little inlet right there? They just, just come right in. <laughs> and also, when it rains, you'll just see them come straight in. They'll just start swimming around. You'll just cast right to them. They'll just absolutely destroy your worm. But usually the best time to go here is with you, you have to bring night crawlers. I just kind of had that squirm worm. Kind of like fly fishing but you know i'm like the night crawler legend legit <laughs> make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i'll see you on another aussie fishing adventure guys i am out that was insane